It's time to begin the 2008 Secret Santa Committee meeting. Secret Santa Committee meeting? Bob, it's January. Glad you're paying attention to the calendar, David. Now, as president of the Secret Santa Committee... I thought you were the head of the committee. The head's the same as president. I'd like to make a motion, please. You can't make a motion. What are you talking about, man? I make motions all the time. Check this out. David? What? I know what you're doing. What am I doing? You know. I thought you said that you know. I do. I know. We all know. Uh, I don't know. Would you make those same silly movements in front of Santa? You mean like a department store Santa? No, the real Santa. Because I would like you to think of me as Santa. And you guys are like my elves. And I don't think that the elves would be disrespecting Santa the way that you're disrespecting me. Well, I think Santa is a fictional character. I bet you do. <laughs> I've gone to the trouble of requisitioning some funds to purchase all the gifts that we're going to exchange with each other. So you're going to give everyone money to... No, no, I bought all the gifts already. Do the elves get to know what the presents are? Yes, Gretchen. The elves do. Aha! Uh, -huh. uh, what are those? Tosimo discs! Were those like little frisbees? They're discs full of coffee for a Tosimo hot beverage system. Nothing lets you discover a world of hot beverages like Tosimo. With 41 varieties of premium brands and flavors to choose from, you can satisfy any desire with the touch of a button, one fresh brewed cup at a time, and make any moment a Tosimo moment. Who are you talking to, Bob? I'm talking to the camera right here. Bob, this really is not the idea of Secret Santa. We're all supposed to be Santa. Everyone is supposed to choose one gift for someone in the office. Don't we need a special machine to use these anyway? Santa is way ahead of you, little elf. <laughs> Bob, did you make sure and clear that with McGrath? Uh, Mr. McGrath appointed me head of the committee. So that's a no. Uh, David, what are you doing? I am calling McGrath. Put that phone down. Hang it up! Hi, Patrick. It's David. We're here in the conference room talking about the whole Secret Santa coffee thing. No! no. Whoa! Uh, no! Whoa! Ah. Enough! I will not have you or any of the other elves ruining Christmas for me this year! Bob, I think you wrecked the phone. David wrecked it, too. What? You wouldn't let go. You're, you're an accomplice. If, if I go down, you're going with me go down. What's going on, Bob? Why don't you want us to talk to McGrath? Because uh, I, uh, I want Mr. McGrath to be surprised. Uh, but you said McGrath knows. Hi. Hey, Patrick. Hey, Patrick. Gang. Uh, David, we were talking. We got cut off. I couldn't call you back. What's going on, Bob? Uh, defective phone. I was trying to fix it. What's all this? Uh, those are the Secret Santa gifts that Bob bought that he said you knew about. <laughs> no, I said that Mr. McGrath appointed me head of the Secret Santa committee. You chose to infer the rest. Look, Mr. McGrath, I would like to report David for making silly movements. Get off the table, Bob. Bob, uh, where'd you get the money for all this? Bob? He said he requisitioned it. No. He requisitioned money to buy a new copier. Bob, did you spend the copier money on this stuff? I can't remember. Bob? Probably. Yeah. My office? Oh, can I come? Just as a witness? Man, Bob. Uh, Bob, I think you should get off the conference table. John, are you the head of this committee? I thought it was president. Head is the unofficial title which I can use when I deem necessary. That doesn't make any sense, Bob. You can't be the head and the president. You can't have two titles that mean the exact same thing. Look, I'm the boss of this committee. I can do whatever I want. Is boss the same as head? Hi. Hey, Patrick. Bob, why are you on the table? Because he's the president of the Secret Santa Committee. President? Secret Santa Committee? What? You guys? President? <laughs> I, like, I, I told you guys, Mr. McGrath, these, I told them, <laughs> sir, this is a uh, secret uh, internal business that doesn't really concern you. Bob, who did I say should be the head of this committee? Me? No. No one? David. Right. And what is the purpose of this committee? Uh, 
looking at ways to reduce paper waste in the office, okay? Right. My office. Bob, uh, we can't keep you on the committee. What? Why? This was just a misunderstanding. Bob. Sir, if I may, I would like you to think about Santa for a moment. Oh, boy. If there was an elf who had a simple misunderstanding, let's say Santa wanted this elf to make a princess doll, but this elf thought Santa said, make a robot. Well, would Santa kick that elf out of the toy factory? Well, what, what kind of robot would it be? Like a space robot. David... Like six arms and they perform multiple functions at once. He's got laser eyes and like cool. Got a blue hat or something. Bob, Bob, I don't care about the robot. David asked. Bob, from your actions, it is clear that you should not be on the committee this year. But what about the elf and the princess and the robot? That elf did not destroy an expensive conference room speakerphone. Maybe that elf did that too. Come on, there are no phones in Santa's workshop. He's right. Uh, you cannot be on the committee. Please, sir. But because it is still kind of the holiday season, uh, I will find you some sort of elf-type job. Oh, thank you, sir. I think that's what Santa would do. Hey, how's your chai latte? It's good. How's your Swiss hazelnut? Mm, really good. I feel like it satisfies my every desire. With one touch of a button. Guys, come on, give me a hand. Hey, Santa, did the elves go down the chimney? Well, uh... No, they don't. Christmas Eve's all about you, fat man. You're getting coal next year. Will it come in a disc? Ha ha. Uh, can you just explain to me what you were thinking? Of course, of course. Okay, uh, I was thinking about Santa. <coughs> You see, Mr. McGrath, David finds the notion of Santa to be hilarious. But guess what, Mr. Cynicism? Without Santa, there'd be no presents at Christmas. Bob, there's no such thing as Santa. Oh, really? Then who is that fat man with the white beard and the red suit? He's a made-up character. <laughs> David, that's just what your parents wanted you to believe, man. So that they could take all the credit for themselves. I'm gonna stop. That was probably a good idea. Yeah. Bob, what I'm trying to figure out is where to go from here. I think that you'll agree that seeing that we're still in the holiday season... We are? Between New Year's and Valentine's Day, yes, that is a holiday season. I think that the most sensible thing to do is simply pretend that none of these misunderstandings really ever happened. <gasps> you mean give everyone a present, whether they've been naughty or nice? What would Santa do? Hey, how's your chai latte? It's good. How's your Swiss hazelnut? Mm, really good. I feel like it satisfies my every desire. With one touch of a button. Guys, come on, give me a hand. Hey, Santa, did the elves go down the chimney? Well, uh... No, they don't. Christmas Eve's all about you, fat man. You're getting coal next year. Will it come in a disc? Ha ha.